Hey guys, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and welcome to my detailed review and install of the black rear seat delete kit available for your 1994 to 2004 Mustang Coupe. This review is gonna cover my thoughts on why you might wanna upgrade or move to a rear seat delete kit, what this particular kit is gonna give you as far as materials and construction, and then finally we'll break down the install. And on the surface, you're not looking at anything too crazy here, gang. One out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter with a little bit more detail later on. Plain and simple, this kit should appeal to the SN95 coupe owners out there looking to shed a few pounds from the ride while achieving a slightly cleaner appearance in the process. Now this thing is definitely going to be for the owners out there who don't mind spending the extra dough on getting something that is ready to rock and roll right out of the box as opposed to the owners out there who might have a little bit more free time on their hands, maybe make something custom on their own in order to save a few bucks. But either way, let's get a little further into this kit. But again, this is the coupe specific version here for the rear seat delete kit. Now, if you have a convertible, your rear seats, your mounting points are a little bit different. So therefore you have another kit to choose from on the site. Make sure you check that out here at AM, of course. But let's get back to the one we have in this particular video. This is one of two different rear seat delete options on the site available for your 94 to 04 Mustang. It is the slightly nicer option in my opinion as well. And therefore you are gonna be spending a little bit more for this one. In fact, just north of the $200 price point. The more affordable option, again, it gets the job done, but it's not as nice in my opinion. It's uh, below the $200 price point and it's only offered in charcoal. But either way, make sure to check out both options here at AM. Check out the reviews, check out the customer submitted images. It will certainly help you on your quest when it comes time buying. Taking a closer look at the kit itself, you'll notice things are pretty simple here, which is the point after all when you're looking to shed some weight. How much weight to be exact? Well, right around 40 pounds is what you're looking at here when installing this kit, removing that back seat depending on your material. That's made possible due to this 3 16 inch plastic here, ABS plastic to be exact. It is wrapped in this very black, very durable pile carpet. Feels very nice just handling it here in the shop for being ABS plastic. Look, I'm not the smallest dude around, but I'm having a hard time kind of bending this thing here in the shop. It feels good. Listen, we all know the Mustang back seat is pretty much useless to begin with. Even more so with this kit installed, that shouldn't come as any surprise to any of you guys watching this video. But things like a fully filled nitrous bottle, I have heard in the review section, might bow this thing a little bit. I have a little trouble believing that because this thing is pretty thick, but then again, it is worth pointing out. Now this is a three piece design. As you can see here, guys, the back is all one piece and then the bottom portion of the seat delete kit obviously broken off into two different pieces. And this is actually secured with a little bit of automotive grade Velcro in two spots. A customer review or two will point out that maybe upgrading the Velcro isn't the worst idea in the world because this might not hold it as well as some of the other Velcro options you can find at your local home store or something like that. But either way, definitely does the job. And another nice thing about this design is that you can easily lift this thing up. You'll find kind of like a little dead space under where the rear seat used to be. And you can use that as a storage area for a number of different things, cleaning supplies, tools, whatever. Switching gears, let's cover the installation with this rear seat delete kit very quickly. And as you might imagine, pretty basic stuff. So I'm sticking a one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter and about an hour or two from start to finish, anybody should be able to knock this one out in the driveway or garage with ease. Removing the rear seats is obviously your first step here, guys. This can be done with some pretty basic hand tools. Getting the new seat delete kit in place in reverse order is even easier. And again, you are looking at a combination of hardware and Velcro. All that stuff is of course included with the kit. Now the actual manufacturer recommends you can leave the mounting brackets and seat belts in place if you want, but in the quest of shedding the most weight possible, you can obviously ditch those if you feel necessary. On the topic of installation, I will say that some of our customers have pointed out on using a boom mat or a dynamat underneath the rear seat portion here because before the factory seats would tend to block a lot of noise from the road or from your exhaust system that will be a little bit more apparent now with the seat delete kit in place so if this is something that might potentially bother you just check out some of our boom mat options here on the site or pick up some dynamat on your own time wrapping things up here with this particular kit guys i think it does a great job of shedding weight about 40 pounds again and doing so in a nice fashion you're getting solid materials great carpet and a great fit. Now, if you're the type of owner who is a do-it-yourselfer, yes, you could probably save yourself a few bucks, make something like this on your own. However, if you prefer the convenience factor, check out this kit. It's ready to go right out of the box and it'll look good while doing so. So that is my review of the black rear seat delete kit that you can find right here at AmericanMuscle.com.